But when it, when it comes to California, um, it's a lot different cultural-wise, you know, when you're a Spanish-speaking missionary because um, there's a lot of different Hispanic cultures. There's um, people from Mexico. Um, there's people from El Salvador there, too. There's people from Guatemala, from um, Peru, from Argentina, just everywhere. In, in, in any country you can think of that's in South America, in Central America, um, there are families from each of those countries that are, that are in California um, and starting a new life. And so, um, cultural-wise, it, uh, it was a big difference um, and being able to experience, experience that too is a big, a big, a big uh, learning experience. Um, uh, I, I was actually able to participate in, um, in the Santa, Santa, Santa Rosa um, branch. I was able to participate in that branch becoming a ward. And so that actually ended up actually being the first ward in the Santa Rosa Mission um, that's all Spanish-speaking, that's all, all Hispanics. Um, so that was, that was really neat to experience. Uh, Food-wise, um, like I said, cultural-wise, is it's, it's the same food. So I got, to, I got to experience any kind of food that you can think of. Um, all in all, I think in California, I think my favorite type of food was Peruvian. Peruvian food is way good. Um, there was uh, a family in in Santa Rosa that owned a, owned a a restaurant that was Peruvian. It was so good. It was really good. Um, weather is a little bit different in California. I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty sure any any missionary would know um, the weather in California. It doesn't snow. Um, I think during the summer it gets pretty hot, but not as hot as El Salvador. So um, luckily, I wasn't. It wasn't a big wardrobe change for me. And during the winter time, I think I had to, I had to buy a couple more more things to cover up with. But all in all, um, I did pretty good. Um, I didn't have to buy a, buy a whole bunch of stuff just to change my wardrobe. 